Hey crafters, this is Cynthia. I am located here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm here to show those of you that don't know how to put the baseball tail at the end of your word. We're gonna use a font called Brandball Fet. You can get it free on Defont. As you can see over here, it's Brandball Fet. This font will allow you to put the tail at the end of any word that you make up simply by using the numbers one through nine. The number one will give you the smallest tail and it increases with each number. Now let's watch and see. I'm going to start with, let's see, we use the word mm, Lakers. I'll go ahead and type it in. I'm going to bring it up a little closer first. I'm going to type the word Lakers. As you can see, I want to put the tail at the end of that letter S. So I'm going to use the numbers as I expressed before. I found out from working with this particular letter S that the number seven works very, very well with it. I'll go ahead and type in the number seven. As you can see, the cursor is still flashy here in my text box. So I just add the number seven and you see the tail magically appears. Now, some of you may say, well, that tail is a little bit too long. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and undo what we just did with the number seven. As you can see, the tail is a bit longer uh, past the L. We'll go ahead and undo that. Let's see, let's put in the number six and see what happens. Put in the number six and that tail is right under the L. Some of you may like it like that. I personally like it at number seven. We're gonna undo this. And now I'm gonna put in number eight to go above what I like so that you can see how long the tail can get. That's number eight. Some of you may even like that because you may wanna write a longer word in here to each his own. All righty, let's go ahead. I'm gonna undo this and put it back at the number seven, which is what I prefer again. And I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see that the tail has attached itself to the end of the letter S. And as you can see with the other letters, all of these things are overlapped. And you say, oh boy, what am I gonna do with that? Okay, I'll show you, it's very simple. We're going to go ahead and highlight all that we see. Don't worry about that blue line. It's going to disappear. So I highlight everything here. And then I'm going to right mouse click on it. And we're going to go down this list and we're going to hit the word weld. Once we hit weld, look at that. We're going to go ahead and click off this. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. You will notice that all of the overlapping has disappeared and we have that tail attached to the end of our S. Now so that you can see it better, we'll go ahead and put some color in it. I'm going to click on the purple because it's Lakers. And oh, I got to first click on it so that it knows where to put the color. Okay, we'll go ahead and put the Lakers there and look at how beautiful that is. You got your red cut line and you have the color of the vinyl that you will be using. That's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this short video. Enjoy your day. Take care. Ciao.